greetings from Lamar in Paris, France. I'm uh, doing a little traveling, combination of work, study, and uh, a little play, maybe a lot of play, and I thought I'd do my videos from uh, France while I'm here. I'm standing in the courtyard outside of the cathedral at uh, Sacre Coeur and uh, want to talk to you today about how to deal with customer calls. We have four objectives when we're dealing with customers. One is to fix the problem to their satisfaction. That seems obvious. We want to show professionalism in our dealings with our customers, and we want to take advantage of opportunities to connect with our callers. We also want to remember that it's about the caller, it's not about us. So I've got a couple of examples that I'm going to show you. The first one is uh, an example of where the tech support person absolutely blows it. So let's take a look at this and see what you think. IT. Hi. Um, I'm having some trouble getting my reports to print out. Employee number. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm wondering, is it me or the computer that's causing the problem? Uh, what, what module are you looking at? Well, uh, it's the AR module of the financial package. I'm running the Adrian report, and I can see it on the screen, but it won't print. I'm really beginning to wonder if my computer's chinxed. <clears throat> Hello? Okay, lady, it's fixed now. Call back if it doesn't work. Um, okay. I guess that's okay. Um, I'll call back if it isn't working. Bye. Later. As we were watching this video, did it occur to you that the tech support rep didn't take advantage of any opportunities to connect with the caller, didn't really show professionalism, certainly uh, didn't remember that it's about the caller and not about the, the support rep, and we don't even know if the support rep fixed the problem to the user's satisfaction. So let's take another look, let's do a replay, and let's see what happens in this example. Computer Services, this is Sean. How may I help you? Hi, um, I'm having some trouble getting my reports to print out. Ah, I'm sorry to hear you're having trouble, but I'd be glad to help you with that problem. First, I need to start with some basics. Can I have your employee number so I can look up your record? Oh, sure. It's um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm wondering, is it me or the computer that's causing the problem? <laughs> well, I sometimes wonder the same thing about my car in the morning. Could you tell me what module you're looking at, please? Well, um, it's the AR module of the financial package. I'm running the aging report, and I can see it on the screen, but it, it won't print. I'm really beginning to wonder if my computer is jinxed. I don't think your computer is jinxed. I could see that the printer queue is stalled. It looks like I could start it from here, though. Give me just a moment, please. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. Okay. It's fixed now. Why don't you try it while I'm on the phone to make sure it's working? Well, here goes. Oh, great. Here comes the report. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you so much. You've been a terrific help. My pleasure. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, I'm all set. Thanks again. You're welcome. Call whenever you need us. Goodbye. In the second example, we saw that the tech support rep showed professionalism, took advantage of opportunities to connect with the caller, remembered that it's about the caller and not about the support rep, and in fact, we confirmed that the problem was fixed to the user's satisfaction. The, the thing to remember when we're dealing with support calls is that, again, it's not about us, it's about the caller. And some things that might make us uncomfortable, such as small talk, really, are, are, again, are not about us, it's about finding ways to connect with the caller and make sure that we solve their problem. For more ideas on how to improve communication and customer service skills in your IT organization, bring Don's One Day IT Customer Service Training Seminar on-site to your location for your group, small or large. Visit www.doncrowley.com for the course description and outline. Or pick up a copy of Don's IT Customer Service book, The Compassionate Geek, How Engineers, IT Pros, and Other Tech Specialists can master human relations skills to deliver outstanding customer service. Available in Kindle and paperback editions through Amazon and other resellers. Now, once again, here's Don. In the final analysis, support calls are very simple. It's about making certain we solve the problem to the user's satisfaction. We show professionalism. We take advantage of opportunities to connect with the caller. And we remember that it's about the caller. It's not about us. Follow these rules and you'll provide great customer support to your end users as well. 
I'm Don Crawley. I'll see you next time.